Double honors to the apostles that rule well at Great Millstone. Peace, blessing, salutation to the brethren, to the believers. Shalom to the Akwaf that do believe, you sisters out there. Shalom to the elect of Israel that's here in America and also that's scattered. All right. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of His Son is Yahweh Shai. So we are here another week to prophesy the downfall of America to tell the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that the Lord is coming back to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. And we're just going to get into some current uh, things that are happening in the, in the world so that we can link what's happening in the real world to biblical prophecy and what we're seeing in the world. Because a lot of people have this uh, notion where we're just in a, a time of nothing is happening. This is not the Bible times. Things that are happening are not biblical. You know, we don't have prophets on the scene. Which that's, that is not true. All right, these things that are written are faithful and true and they're happening right now. And we're here to expound on the events that are happening in real time. Yep. All right? I'm on that bar. Let's go. All uh, right, this is the book of uh, Isaiah, the 29th chapter and the 6th verse. And it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Okay, these are these are all the things that the Lord have created. Okay? Mm -hmm. Some of these things, he, he, he used them okay for vengeance okay what he said tempest and, and, and hell and fire and, and, and some of these things that are happening right now the hurricane uh bar what's barrel, barrel? Yeah. hurricane barrel all right they said now it's a category five hurricane yep and it hit it has hit uh some of our brothers in uh what uh Grenada. they said jamaica yep um what else Grenada. 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 all right the caribbean, the caribbean islands, islands. All right, and, and, and who lives there? Majority of our people. Okay, now the, one of the things that, that the brother just read, it says, thou shalt be visited of the Lord. Okay, the Lord is doing these things, man. All right, because he wants our people to, this is for a, a, a judgment. All right, you got one more? Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 2. It says, behold, the Lord had a mighty and a strong one which is a tempest of hail and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing. It's not a hurricane of destroying wind, a destroying storm. A category five is a terrible, terrible thing, man. Okay, and once a category, once it reaches to a certain category, they call that what uh, something, uh, what is it, the finger of God, yeah. something like that. Okay, because they know, <clears throat> these people know that only God can do such a thing like that, whose name is Yahweh. And his son, Yahweh Shai. And who controls these elements and these storms? It's the angels. All right? There's been reports of some of these, what they call UFOs, inside of these uh, storms. Okay? They, they zip in, inside them. They create them. And they go. They zip out. You got to go. What more? It says, um, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. That's the end of the precept. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 22. It says, fear ye not me, said the Lord. Will you not tremble at my presence? These storms, this is, that's part of the Lord's presence, man, because he's the one who's bringing them. Mm -hmm. Right? It says, which have placed the sand for a bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, and they cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Yep. So all, the, all that you see at the end of the day, the most have the power to bring them and to, to, to disquiet them, man. Mm -hmm. To stop them in their tracks, man. Yep. So you should fear the Lord. That's a right. power to have the power to do that, you should be in fear. You should be, you should be in great fear. All right? The same power that flooded the earth. Mm -hmm. All right? You got these different meteorologists, these different scientists saying that the earth is heating up, the water is warmer than what it used to be. Yep. Well, who's doing that? Warm water, especially here down here in, in, in the south, equals 
uh, 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 hurricanes. All right, when the water is being warmed like that, all right, that, that's a breeding ground for hurricanes. Who's doing that? The Lord is doing that. Man can't control ocean. It's too big. It's out of his league. Only a higher power can do it. If I might say, just, just to back him up real quick, even with even before the storms, when it's hot like this, it usually hot all throughout the day, and by 3 p.m., 4 p.m., you see the rain, because that's how hot it is. You know, and then the rain comes to, to kind of like cool off the earth. You know, you got it. It's a, a quick article from the New York Times. It says, Marathon heat wave expected to bake California through holiday weekend. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's extremely good. Yep. And um, not only in Cali, but it's different cities across the uh, different states across the United States where they're talking about extreme heat. And that's why the plagues are set because last month you had something called Pride Month. That's a that's an that's an abomination. Okay. That 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 LGBT whatever. That's a that's abominable. But guess what? Now guess what? The hurricane is is, is here. The Lord has something for y'all people. Since you want to celebrate uh, Pride Month, it be abominable. Yep. Go ahead, you are. This is that Revelation chapter sixteen and verse um, nine. And it says, and men were scourged with great heat and blasphemed the name of the Most High, which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. Read that again. This is, this is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 9. It says, and men were scourged with great heat and blasphemed no, the name. No, start at verse 8. eight come. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. Okay, that, what? This is extreme heat. This is this is that's what we're saying. This is coming from the Lord, Yahweh, and His Son Yahweh Shai, which give the angels charge over the sun, the elements. Read it. Go ahead. And it says, verse nine, and men were scourged with great heat, and blasphemed the name of the Most High. When it's hot, what Jake? What Jake say? What 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 these guys be saying? Man, f man. They say, mm. man. Yep. You know, some people they scoff God. Because they don't believe in it. So they'll cur they'll curse him. You know, there is a God. Why am I hot? Right. You know, ain't no effing God. You know, they'll, they'll you know, you, you sometimes you'll hear Jake say that. Yeah, they, you know, these damn devils, they said to this. Right? That's so that's what's going on. Extreme heat, e e extreme weather. All right, they're gonna come and celebrate uh July 4th. So our people too. Yep. What? July 4th is what uh they celebrate independence. Independence Day of America, 1776, so-called so independence, right? These Edomites, they can celebrate it because that's they. This is their uh, kingdom. Yep. But you are gonna have Jake with the red, white, and blue uh, <laughs> bandana with the whole fit on. Yeah. The whole red, white, and blue fit with the fresh Air Force Ones. Right, right, right. Like every year, Jake fresh popping fireworks when when your really our ancestors really. were slaves in 1776. Yep. Right. right. And, and you gonna tell us, oh man, come on, man. I'm just trying to get Frank eat some um, barbecue, some pork. Jake ain't concerned about that, man. But that's why the judgments are coming. And what they gonna they gonna eat abomination on yep. that day? They gonna, they gonna put yep. Jake is into eating uh iguana now. Iguana snakes. Jake eating the iguanas, Jake eating uh, uh uh raccoons, all type of shit, man. You know, we just seen a snake on the grill. <laughs> like, come on, man. He was seasoning oh, it. Seasoning the snake. Alligators. You know what I'm saying? Like Jake ain't really that was a, like a you know, people, that's, 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 you know, you sometimes you see the real country Gucci niggas eating that. You know, you heard about it, but you get to see it now because the internet. You too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't never seen a nigga eat raccoon. Now you get to see it on the internet, man. Yep. See that, man? Think go out. In the book of Nahum, Nahum chapter 1 and verse 5, it says, The mountains quake at him. That's not that one. Nahum chapter 1, verse 1, it says, The burden of Nineveh. The book of the vision, the vision of Nahum, the eat of the Elkohite, the Elkoshite, It says, Yahweh is jealous of the Lord, revenge it. There you go. He, so he's a jealous power. If you ain't serving him and you're an Israelite, he got a problem with that. He has a problem. Because our forefathers, they signed that contract with blood. Not physically, they didn't sign, they didn't, they didn't have a pen, but Moses sprinkled the blood on the people. Yep. And they agree. They say we will do. 
It says, Yahweh is jealous and the Lord revenge it. Yahweh revenge it and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he will he reserve it wrath for his enemies. There you go. So our, his the enemies could be uh, uh, his own people, yep. his own children are enemies unto the Lord because they're rebellious. They don't want to listen. If your son or your daughter didn't listen to you, what are you, what are you going to do? Right? So the most high, he's not allowed to have no emotions. Come on, man. Uh, verse 3, it says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. Well, that's why he let Proud Month go on year after year. Because he's letting your sins pile up and build up. Yep. He's giving you a chance to repent. He's giving you a grace period to see if you're going to get out of that. To see if you're going to repent. That's what a grace period is. A grace period doesn't mean you don't have to pay the bill. It just means it's an extended time period to yep. pay it. But the, the bill still has to be paid. And if the Lord didn't pay that bill for you, you got to pay for it. And that's in blood. And if, you, and if you don't repent, if you don't repent, that time is just going to turn into a rope to hang yourself. Yep. The law will give you I'm enough like rope to hang yourself, man, if you don't turn back and repent. Because if you, if you don't turn back, it's only going to be judgment, so to speak, right? Yeah, so he don't want no more sacrifices, right? When you read Isaiah chapter 1, it goes into, yep, yep. he that sacrifice of a dove. He don't want that. Guess who's going to be the sacrifice? You! Yep. <laughs> According to Isaiah 34, yep. have, the law have a sacrifice in Basra. Right. He don't want no more animals. You gonna be it. Uh, you gonna lay on that altar, which is America, and when the missiles come, you gonna burn. Yeah. If you don't repent. It says, uh, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. He, so he ain't acquitting the wicked. He not just saying, you know what? Yeah, I'ma just let y'all do what y'all wanna do, and I'ma turn a blind eye to it. That's why Hurricane uh, Barrow is in Jamaica right now. Yep. If the Lord turned a blind eye to his people, there would be no hurricane. What the heck? That hurricane fucking that shit up, man. For wickedness. Being wicked. Being evil. That's why these things are coming. It says, The Lord had his way in the whirlwind and in the way, and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Mm -hmm. He rebuked the sea and making it dry, and dried up all the rivers, Bashan languisheth, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. It says, the mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? Or who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? He can't do that, man. When the Lord, when the Lord anger is, 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 is kindled, man. Right? You bring a category, uh, a, a category five hurricane anywhere, a tornado anywhere. Right? It's ball game, baby. It's ball game. All you think you had is is gone. And we just name a few, a few judgment. That's a tornado, a hurricane. All right, you got people that are dying from uh, heat strokes. Yep. Come on, man. It happened over there, yeah. over the east. Over yeah. the, the Lord ain't, the Lord just cracking, the Lord just getting started. Mm -hmm. What about the tsunamis? You ain't, tsunami, you ain't really seen a real tsunami. Okay, the Lord, he got judgments planned. Yeah. We, we notice that his fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him, but with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. So, so there you go. The Lord said he is also a stronghold, but on the other hand, he, he'll F you up, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. King of Terrors, man. Yep, you got a slide. This is Isaiah 29, verse 6. You brought this up? Yeah. Go ahead. You, oh, okay. you got it. Go ahead. Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder. And with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest, and the flame of devouring fire. Hmm. Hmm. That's yes. how the Lord, you got it, brother. That's a lot, yeah. I'm just trying to say that that storm is headed for Texas, too. Yeah. They got Galveston and those regions, Louisiana, they have them in the red, man. So, hmm. no telling, you know, Ooh, it's a wide cover storm. You, Jason. Right. 
you know, you Jake's over there too. So the Lord controls wherever he wants. No, that's his hurricane. Yeah. Right. Wherever he wanted to go, that's where it's going to go. Hey, we just read it. The Lord have his way in the world. That's right. <laughs> he can pull it up and run it, run it through and just keep running it, ramming it, and then pull it back in the ocean and get stronger and yeah, pull it right. Yeah. He can do what he want to do. Yeah. They be like, oh my gosh, we don't know what, what the hurricane is doing. It's coming back to the water and then it's getting stronger. Yeah. Yeah, because it's charging back up to go back. Yep. Yeah, but me, in, the, in, in the meantime, you you, you and your houses, you hiding and shit. But yet you pretend like you don't fear the most high. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes 23, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord right. are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. Right. Yep. It's a lot of wicked things going on in Jamaica. Not saying that they don't go on here. But Jake's wilding out over there in them islands, man. Jake be wilding out, man. All right? Enough is going to be enough. A lot of you think that because you ain't in America, you all good. <laughs> no, you ain't good. At all. You ain't good, man. You think you you just, oh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the island. You know, the white man, you know, man, the Lord coming to get you, man. Yep. Yep. And who's the eyes of the Lord? That's the angels. Yep. For real, man. Lord send a, can send a plague through Jamaica yep. and wipe you niggas out, man. Yep. The scriptures tell you how the, 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 the island shall be moved out of their places, man. You know, that's that's great devastation. That's great destruction. For real, man. You know? Yep. You know? You Jake's better, and you, you Jake's on them islands, man. Y'all better repent too, man. Right. The fuck? Yeah, because you 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 are Israelites too. This, this word is for you. Y'all got the internet. Y'all got them phones. Y'all see us. Everybody see us. This brother's over there. Right. Why go on? We got three up. Ecclesiastes 36, verse 6. Shoe new signs and make yeah, other strange good. wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Yeah, record breaking this and record breaking that. That's a new sign in the earth. Okay? And the Lord is going to what? Show new signs in the earth in which you people gonna see it. The different strange tokens and signs and events happen in the earth. But who's doing that? Who's orchestrating that? The Heavenly Father, three hours shy, and the angels. It says, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Okay? Raise up righteous anger. So the Lord's righteous anger is being raised up He's pouring out his wrath. He's pouring out his wrath. It says, take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. So, ultimately, we're praying for the downfall of our enemies. Mm -hmm. yep. Who's our top enemy? Esau, Edom. Esau, Edom. All right. Yep. We, we, but, but our people, some of our people are, are our adversaries as well. Yep. That's right. Right? The Lord hate the heathen, but he going he gonna to get you Jake's first. All right? He going he gonna to get you Jake's first because you're his people. And these things, these her man, I, I, I proceed through the spirit, man. It's gonna be a nasty hurricane season, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we just had a record-breaking flood a uh, couple weeks back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And here down here in, in uh, Hollywood, <laughs> man, 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 <laughs> people, man. <laughs> hey, that that was a terrible thing. You had some people die because of a flood. You got old people that that, that, that can't walk. They only can, they, they 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 just sit down in the chair and the water come all the way up. You know. What a dick, man. Hey, man, it might get real ugly, man. This is uh, First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. And it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And that's right, man. Hey, judgment is, is beginning at the house of Israel, man. You know, you Israelites. You know, hey, the people that know that you Israelites. That's why, you know, um, Jamaica and St. Corinthians, that's why I get in judge, man. You know, because I'm pretty sure y'all don't heard y'all's Israelites, man. You know? So that's why the Lord is sending hurricanes and all these things. Yeah. yeah. Because you heard the word. And they partake in Pride Month, like the said. Right. Right. They have the Pride Month. Right. So you want to do this? All right. How do you get? All right. <laughs> and during the little, uh, the Pride March and Parade, you had uh, naked men showing themselves in front of the children. See? But nobody's not talking about that. Once again, you had naked men mm -hmm. 
marching in the streets, okay? Being a bum and boo, being wicked, and you had children there. So we at the end. Yeah, we at the end. And the scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, you know? So this is what you would find in, in, in a world that is run by the wicked. Exactly. That's not, what you're going to find. Not Japheth. You know? All right, Jacob, the Jacob is not classified as the wicked. You know, this is the this is Esau reign. This is Esau rule. It's nasty. Hey, before before the Lord ascended back, right? Before the Lord ascended back up to be on the right hand of the heavenly Father, He said it. He said it in Saint John the fourteenth chapter, at the thirtieth verse. He said, "The prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me." Meaning, our true Lord, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Forget about the J word, because J wasn't around. His real Hebrew name was Yahweh Shai. He said the prince of this world is coming that has nothing in him. That's why Revelation 11 and 8 tell you that uh, 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 our Lord, our Lord whom, whom they crucified, they, they, they exalt his name. Mm -hmm. So they don't have nothing in, the, in the, the, the true Lord, the true Savior. They don't got nothing in him. They ain't doing nothing according to his ways. Okay? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So therefore, what the brother was just talking about, that's why you're seeing these things. You see? But the Lord is coming to turn everything right side up. Because right now it's upside down. And the Lord tells you that he doesn't deal with confusion. Yeah. He's not the author of confusion. Yeah, yeah that too. Crown. The place be not turned upside. Yeah. I get that. You got it? Go ahead. Go ahead with that one. Evil is sown. Yeah, get that one. I'll get the other one. This is, um... Loading one second. You got something you wrote? Yeah. Let me get the quote real quick. Isaiah chapter 29, I started verse 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Verse 16. You got Jake into all type of oh, Jake do witchcraft. Yeah. Right? Jake is all into Santa Maria. Voodoo, Voodoo and, you know, they got, they seek astrologers. Sue says they got uh, palm readers. Yeah. Jake is all, especially them women, man. They all into that, man. The Lord is looking at that. And they know they ain't supposed to be doing it. They do it anyway. It says, verse 60 in the point, it says, surely you're turning of things upside down. So, so everything is upside down right now. At this point, everything, everything is confusion. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't turn a, be a beautiful dark skin mm -hmm. to make it seem like oh, only in this a demonic world where right. you have dark skin it is looked at uh, frowned upon right right and it was like that from creation the scriptures tell you how Jake is the former of all things who did that right. the who devil that? yep they put that in that book the, the book of Mormon the devil did that see which you don't burn in the sun he do right <laughs> you lack pigmentation but Jake the Jake Jake's they didn't look at themselves they and you got a lot of them guys on them Caribbeans and them women, they like to bleach themselves, them Jamaicans, right. yep, yep, them Haitians, yep. they, they into bleaching. Right. They don't see themselves as the true kings that they are. What the hell are you bleaching your skin for, right. man? <laughs> you the royal, regal class people. You just don't know that in your mind. That, that's why we're calling you to come back to your heritage, man. So you could know that you were the royal, regal class people. You were the true people of the book. You know what? The Esau don't Esau don't push white being white and light skin as like a, a, a yeah superior. being red yeah being you know a lighter skin is you know better better you know they indoctrinated generations yep, upon yep, generations yep, of, yep, yep. of us. Hey, look what they did to the rainbow. They turned everything upside down. The rainbow is a sign that the Lord is not going to destroy the earth again. The rainbow is a sign that the Lord flooded the earth. Right. Do you understand that? When you see a rainbow, you're supposed to say God God flooded the earth. Right. That's not there to, to for, for, for those freaky people. <laughs> you, you're supposed to give praises that you're supposed to stay, Lord. Like you anymore. know, you're supposed to you people see a rainbow, they say, oh, it's so pretty. No. The Lord left that there to remind your ass. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, flash back. So for real. <laughs> I'm a the Lord, he right, the Lord say what? Sodom and Gomorrah was an example right. of how not to live. The Lord left the rainbow as a covenant, right? But it's still there because he he, he jacked everybody up. Right. It's a token where he's not going to flood the earth right. to that capacity, but he's going to bring fire. Yep. 
So the rainbow is a sign that God exists. And because they're doing these things, right? Because they're doing these things, we're in this time, like, just luck, vexed with the filthy conversation. Like the things, what they're doing to the rainbow, what they're using it as, when it's not to be used for that purpose. Let me finish up the precept. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 16, Surely a turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the porter's clay, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Bogus. That shit bogus as hell, man. God, you, you are, uh, we are created beings. If God said, worship him, that's what you better do. Right. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, uh, 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 you know, this ain't no, this ain't up for debate. You either worship God in truth and sincerity, whose name is Yahweh, or you're going to die. Right. No gray areas. I got something. This oh, is, no, no, I want to get uh, This is, uh, one second. The heat fucked up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> this second Ezra 4, verse 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Right, the evil is sown where? In this current world, mm -hmm. starting with America, Babylon the Great, evil is sown here. The scriptures say you reap what you sow. Right? Yeah, everybody talk about karma. Mm -hmm. Right? The world loves karma, 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 karma. Yeah, karma but what about you? Yep. Did you look in the mirror? Mm. Yep. The evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. See, meaning, then, meaning it will come eventually. Right. Keep, keep on reading verse 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. That's, the, that's talking about uh, America, Babylon, the great in this current world, and the kingdom of heaven. So this place have to be like this in order for the kingdom to come. It, ha it had to go like this. So we had to see men in the streets, naked, you know, being abominable, having a whole 30 days of pride, seeing these people just roam the earth year after year after year and look at the, 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 the eroding of a society, the moral eroding of a society. You know, some brothers are old, they get, you get to see the decline of a society, man. How nasty it's becoming. That's why, that's why the scriptures say they're going to have to come up to Jerusalem to seek our ways. Yeah, because if, 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 they, if, they, if they left to themselves, if, them, if they left to themselves, this is how they're going to carry on. God. You see? Yeah. That's right. You got a song? You got a song? Yeah. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. And it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. There you go. That's why you was created. That's one of the reasons why. Right? <clears throat> People think they got this grand calling. You know? The scriptures tell you exactly how to live. Be content. Yep. You know, just be cool. Yep. Lord, give some food, or a house, a woman, a job, you know? Right. Clothing. Yeah, just, you be, just be cool, bro. And worship God. Yep. You know, you, you, you ain't here to be a, a ball player, my nigga. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if you happen to become one, whatever. You know, we just here to serve the Most High and His Son. You know? Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. It yep. says, you got it? Yep. No, go ahead. It says, and many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. Yep. And we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, 
and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So it's going to come to a time where, all right, the nations are going to come to Jerusalem to, to, to get the law, statutes, and commandments, man, to get the way of life so they could stop eating abominable things. So they can stop walking naked in the street and looking at one another nakedness and all that stuff. That's that's not going to be happening under the the, 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 the kingdom of Hawashai, the kingdom of heaven on earth, man. It's going to be all righteous. The scriptures say that people shall be all righteous. Okay, now you're going to have the heathens going off, and therefore that's why we're going to have the rod of iron to correct them. Mm -hmm. You know, but they're not going to be able to just do what they want to do anymore in that day and in that time. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. You got some. This is um, John chapter 8 and verse 44. Um, I'm going to start at verse 33. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Read the verse up. And it says, and uh, Yahweh shall I say unto them, If God were your father, you yeah. would have loved me. Mm -hmm. For I proceeded forth and came from the Most High. Neither I came of myself, but he sent me. Why do you, why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father the devil, and of lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and a bull not in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he spake it in the lie, he speak it of his own, for he is a liar and a father of it. Right, right, man, and, 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 and that's the characteristics of our people, man. You know, you are being likened to the devil, you know, the characteristics of so-called, uh, of, of the so-called white man. You know, y'all want to take after the, the, uh, the things that he do, being prideful. You know, want to be witches and warlocks. You know, we never had those customs, man. You know, and we done in righteousness. And, 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 you know, we had laws and statutes for us, man. You know, right? The dietary law, right? Mm -hmm. They all want to be like Esau eating, Esau eating crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster, man. Right. You know, he don't he he done told you that eating a fucking bottom feeder in the ocean was a delicacy, man. You know, and guess what y'all do? Y'all make mukbangs out of it. You know. Yep. And the scripture, scripture said, "Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways." Right. That's the way. That's the problem with Jake nowadays. Jake, because this is Edomites rulership, and Edomites got money and the fatness of the earth. They want the same thing, so they chase after the bag, trying to attain that. When this is the place of our punishment. Okay, we we're here to suffer as our Lord did. Yep. But most Jake can't get it in their head. Well, Jake wanted the king. They wanted to be like the heathen in yep, the time yep. of Samuel. Samuel right. Right. So even when they had their own situation going on. They still want, they asked hey, Samuel for a king. We want a king. We want a king. <laughs> the Lord, damn, I'm your king. Damn. <laughs> all right, man. You know, the Lord still, you know, pleaded with us like, you know, all right, I'm going I'm to I'm give y'all a king. I'm yep. still, you know, right. Lord still, you know, because he understand, you know, Jake. All right, man. Jake's up. Hell, boy. <laughs> you got it, bro. Where you want to start? Uh, you get that? Four. Alright, this is Sirach, otherwise known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Right. As the judge of the people himself, so are this okay, so are his officers. So there we go. You want to know why our people are like this? Why Moab and the, the, these people that they're wearing uh skimpy clothes, they're not dressing modestly anymore, it's because they're following their oppressors. Who gave us Sexy Red? Esau. Esau. You brought her up. Sexy Red is a product of Esau. Right? The manipulation of our people, yep. the, the, the psyop that Esau has been running the muck on our people for years. They sign these people to million dollar deals and they tell them to act like that. How do we know that? Because Cardi B told you. She sing her songs. Boy, Beyonce too. They sing that bull crap in their songs, but they tell you, oh, I'm home. She on video sweeping and cleaning. Right. Oh, my single ladies. Oh, uh, she married with, with children. Right. Jay Z. <laughs> Jay Z telling you to be a gangbanger and a rapper, but he's a billionaire. Amazing. He had worn short without <laughs> Wilt on it. Wow. Honoring Alistair Crowley. Wow. You see? So Jay-Z, we know Jay-Z, you stand. So all these rappers, they're telling you to do these things. Right. right? Tupac told you to be a gangster. But Tupac was an educated man. Yep. Very educated. Lil Wayne, very educated. These are intelligent men. Yep. 
they some of these with the, the, the uh, nice uh, high end schools learn. It's, it's all a game. J Cole went to college. They, these men are just because they get a little tattoos and in, in, in the grill. You'll fall for it, Jake. When they did it, they, did. <laughs> they weaponized the music. They weaponized music. Yes. There you go. If you, if they have, they have uh, songs that like degenerately written to make our people go off. Yep. And what Kanye told you about the 808 beat, the 808s, 808. how, how it, certain beats to get you to to really get in, get in, get into it, and you get you to listen to these lyrics, and you and you turn into a little uh, NBA young boy. Demon. <laughs> then you got witches and warlocks praying over the album yep. right. and over the mixtapes. You know, they standing on a pencil ground. Oh yeah. They praying over it. So yeah. Yep. This is this is but see that that same it's it's the same generation of, of, of just nasty de degenerate behavior. But the Lord is gonna rid he gonna rid of he gonna rid of it. He gonna rid of it. Yeah, and then, and then if you don't wanna if you don't wanna play ball with these degenerate music, the, the writing of some of these songs. They wouldn't put your stuff out. You're yeah. right. You're right. They ain't gonna put. They ain't gonna put. They ain't put it out. They, they want you out. have to do what they want you to do. That's right. right you gotta do. Uh, verse two. It says, uh, "As the judge of the people himself, so are his officers. Mm -hmm. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein." Mm -hmm. So if you got a president like like Joe, <laughs> right? Joey Joe. Come on, man. <laughs> Joe Beasy. <laughs> Come on, man. Verse 3, it says, An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. An unwise king destroyed his people. If you are a, king, a ruler, why would you poison your own people? Which goes to show you that this is a wicked society. They poison us with air, water, jabs. Ooh, you got to ask yourself, why is this man trying to kill us? Why, why is he trying to get rid of uh, society, humans so bad? Why? You got to, he's hiding something. He's hiding something and he wants something to happen. The people, the, 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 the welfare of a people is, that's how a community and society is continue to flourish. To flourish. Mm -hmm. If you got a society full of people that are sick, unhealthy, unhealthy fat, mm -hmm. not strong, how is, the, how is the society going to continue to flourish? Everything's turned upside down. Because in the kingdom of heaven, all of our children, all of our people, they're going to be nice, strong, healthy. <laughs> the, earth the earth definitely need new management, right? Because that, that's what it's going to right. do. New management. Uh, <laughs> later on in the scripture. <laughs> right? People been on the earth for thousands and thousands of years, right? Now they tell you the, the, the cows are the problem. No. The animals are the problem. No, the animals ain't the problem. Humans are the problem. No, it's the wicked is in, in charge. Right. <laughs> You're the problem. Right? You will have a why, why is society getting fatter? They're being poisoned. We're not eating real food. There you go. They took pictures of people in the 1970s and the 60s on the beach and, and people now. Right. What the hell has happened? Who's tainted the food? The power Who's tainted the food? <laughs> That's right. Food is directly, directly correlated with your hormones. Your hormones regulate how fat you're gonna be. Hormones, all the horm everything is all jacked up. Your hormones out of whack. It's just, you, you drink water is poison. You drink an apple is is poison. You breathing in poison. Everything is just poison. They say they say all men have plastic in their testicles. Well, for real, all, uh, thousands of microplastics <laughs> found in men's semen. What the hell is going on, man? How did that get there? You got out. In Revelation 11, verse 18, and the nation and the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come. Right. Yep. In the time of the dead, that they should be judged. The time of the dead, which the dead represents these heathen nations. They don't have the laws and the commandments to abide by. Right. But these people on this sign do. The children yep. of Israel. That's right. Let's keep reading. That they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. and to the saints. That's right. And them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. That's right. And he's going to destroy them which destroy the earth. Right? He's going to give reward unto his servants, the prophets, and to the saints. Uh -huh. Right? And he's going to reward the wicked too with destruction. Right. Because who's destroyed this earth? These devils. 
Who has power to control what type of the quality of water that you drink? It damn sure ain't no so-called black man. And what comes into your neighborhood? Who who who, do, who who controls the food supply? Who owns the the food warehouses? It damn sure ain't no so-called black man. Right. Jay Z, all these billionaires, all this money—they don't control that. Right. They they just buy Lamborghinis and, and mansions. Right. When but when they go to start getting into to things that matter, they they're not they can't get into that the because the wicked they gotta have their hands on that right. man. Look what happened. Look what happened to Bill Cosby when he tried to uh, uh, get what's that? What's the station? Um, the network. Um, he tried to attain the network. This mm -hmm. is one of the big, big ones too. Yeah. And you got clipped, homeboy. <laughs> what happened with uh, Michael, Michael Jackson? Jackson. He was trying to um, Sony. Sony. Yeah. Would go to show you, these devils know how powerful the media is, right. the water, the food, what people watch. You can't control that. Right. The so-called white man has to because that TV is powerful, man. Yeah. Like, if you try to, if you try to attain something. Uh, uh, to, to, to forward your people, they're gonna look or, at that or, like you going against their order. Or, uh, for an example, it, 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 Tesla, Oklahoma. Or, that's that's it, something like in that kind of magnitude. They see you as trying to forward your people, and not, they don't want that. Not even, it, not you cannot even be trying to forward your people because those people they, they wasn't right with you. How about Shimi Shai? Mm -hmm. They was just trying to own something that the so-called white man had to control, right? Because the, the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? That includes media, food, the quality of water. Yeah. And, and those men weren't gonna push righteousness with those, with, with, with that. They wasn't. No. But just because it's a so-called black man, you can't control that, buddy. No, because that's and even if you do have a little something, the brother said, Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? Yeah. What Jake, what 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 uh Esau came and do? Um, he came and he came and burned it all down. Yeah. <laughs> see that they they see you as getting somewhere when you when you yep. try to when you try to, to to get these kind there of stuff. Yeah. They see you as getting like, somewhere oh now. They got to stop it. They nipping yeah. it in the bud. This this Igor, he oh no he go go back and how go dare back. you? How dare you? <laughs> you trying to get Sony? You trying to buy a news station? Right. Man, you go you go get you a Lamborghini. See they'll let Jake buy Lamborghinis all yeah. day. And then not only that <laughs> because you know once he attains that. The other one is gonna try to do the same thing. And let Jake try and get into some steel, a steel company, or try and own majority of the steel or some of these resources. Jake, you ain't mm -mm. any any resource on this earth. They gotta have a heathen running that thing, man. Right. You Jakes ain't gonna have control over it. Go and look, hey, go get your mansions and your Lamborghinis. <laughs> Ecclesiastes seven verse seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift to stroke the heart. So the brother mentioned with Lamborghinis and stuff. So Esau uses bribery mm -hmm. unto our people, and our people fall for the bait. Yep. Look at Meg Thee Stallion. She just won a uh, Planned Parenthood award. Mm. Which Planned Parenthood? That goes back yes, to Margaret Sanger. Yes, but Margaret Sanger was a, a, a racist. Mm -hmm. She called our people human weeds that need to be exterminated. Yep. But you see, uh, who, who got the Planned Parenthood award? Uh, Meg Thee Stallion, Meg Thee Stallion. She's in control. And, mm -hmm. and, and um, Margaret Sanger is related to Bill Gates. Okay, mm -hmm. and make no mistake, these people are trying to exterminate us. Yep. You got it, bro. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes, because otherwise known as Iraq, chapter 10, and verse 4. It says, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. In due time. And do, that's why we got we got to suffer these things. This is actually a part of our uh, punishment too. I mean, of course, here yeah, here in America, but the Lord got us. See, we on the internet. We see all these things, man. We got to, but we got to suffer it, even though we want a righteous world. We got to stomach it. Sometimes, sometimes it's things, brother, sin, bro. We can't even look at it like damn, man. You know, sometimes you you reach it up to here with your wickedness meter. You done seen enough for the day. Like man, it's some bullshit. I'm going to jump down to verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit. Unrighteous dealings. I just was reading an article where in 1940, Esau just come and killed Jake and take his land. And up there in Mississippi. The man owned acres and acres of land. He can't, Jake, these so-called white people don't want us to have nothing. There you go, Rosewood. Anything that you got, 
he want to come and take it. If he ain't got his hand in it, if he ain't give it to you, he don't want you to have it. He think that you're not like, what this, what this eager is doing with all this? We should have it. What they did to God was that movie Flower over the Moon? Yeah. Killer of the, Kill the Flower Moon. Killer of the Flower Moon. He just come and take it. Let's say right now you find in your backyard, you, you got an oil, oil just gushing from it. You better not tell uh, Esau, man. You got to get a lawyer. He, Cause it, it, you gotta get, and even if that, he's like, you mysteriously, oh, mysterious, mysteriously uh, die. I get it already. What the hell? Right. Come on, like, <laughs> bro, whatever the first offer you get, just take it, bro. Cause these 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 devils, they don't play fair, man. No. <laughs> Obadiah, right? Yep. Yep. You got out. Yeah, it says out. Uh, and we just name it just a couple, unrighteous dealing. Right, uh, 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 brothers, uh, Gad, mm -hmm. Reuben. What? Well, come on, man. Everybody know what they did to them. You had the American government breaking hundreds of peace treaties with the uh, native, so-called Native Americans. Yeah, and that's on Google. Yep. Broke over what? Like over five hundred peace treaties. Over five hundred. Yep. That's on Google. But, but but if you look out in this world and you want to know, like, who's going to stop them? God is. God's going to send his son back to stop him, whose name is Yahweh. He's going to send Yahweh shot back to stop these people because they're not going to continue to run amok on, on, the, on, on people on this earth. He's like, well, I don't, I'm looking out in the world and who can stop these people? Well, a king is coming to stop this. And they, they also brought uh, uh, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, mm -hmm. over here uh, as, as slaves on cargo ship, and they worked our people to death, man, and enslaved them yep. to, build up, to build up their empire, man. They're yep. going to have to pay for that also. We got to pay for it. You know? Uh, reading on, it says, uh, Sirach chapter 10 and verse 8, it says, because of injuries, so like here, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Chase has backgrounds of, 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 of owning slaves. Yep. It's, it's on Google. Look it up. Uh, all they do is they, they issue out an apology. Oh, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, my forefathers owned slaves. They, they, you know, I'm sorry. Well, what? What? Sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? Hey, the, 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 the small hats, the small hats funded the ships <laughs> that, that brought our people over here. I'm, so, I'm sorry I destroyed a, 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 a generation and generations of people. You know, I'm sorry you guys are not. A, it's all bullshit. Okay. They, they're not sorry. <laughs> you got to. Um, this is um, Jeremiah 50 in verse 11. And it says, because you were glad, because you rejoice, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye have grown fat as a heifer as grass and bellows as bulls. What, what that mean, Yorah? Hey, basically, hey, hey, these nations were, hey, they were, they were rejoicing when we was going into captivity, man. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody was saying that when Jacob's going into captivity. When, when, when they say you got fat as the heifer, what that mean? Off of, you know, off of our free labor. You yeah, know, off when of they all got the things, rich. Right. right. Filthy rich. You didn't got filthy, filthy rich off of the backs of us. Yep. They sent gifts to one another. Yeah, and then these people, don't, look, 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 at, look at the world. Who's responsible for building the world up? It's the Israelites. Yep. If you don't have nobody to work for free, you gotta pay people to work. They didn't pay us. Can you imagine if you had somebody work for you for free? A 400 year come up. You knew that your son's sons and your son's sons would have a generation of people to work for them for free. That's why they got all money. They got that 16, 17, 1800 dollar money, man. That's like sending a clone to work for you and you ain't gotta go work. You just work and he just bringing you, bringing you back money. For years. For years. Hundreds. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right. man. No, no, no. He has more. Yeah, a little more. It says. I want you to get verse 33 when you're done. And, okay, done. Let's jump down. And it says, your mother shall be so confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed because the hindermost of nations shall be wilderness. That's what Brexit was about. Great Britain was, uh, you know, their mother. Right. America was formed from Great Britain came out of uh, Britain. What? And it says, the hindermost of the nation shall be a, shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. The what? And it says, the hindermost of the nations 
it shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Mm -hmm. Because of the wrath of the of the Lord. It's telling you how it's going to become desert. Right. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished, astonished and hissed at her plagues. That's right. I'm a verse, jump at verse 33, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. Verse 33, and it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Right? The emancipation, <clears throat> the emancipation, so called the free the slaves, was a transfer of slaves. It was not to free them. Stupid. Right? It, it, and the, the slave owners got reparations. The slave owners was paid by the government to free the slaves. They didn't just say free them. The government paid them, and you, we, were transferred over to ownership of the government. All right? It wasn't, it wasn't, it was not a free. It went from you you being owned by, by, by Billy Joe Bob to the government. Huh. <laughs> Why you got our people celebrating Juneteenth? No, I know, right? This, and they don't even know what, what, what's, what, what it's about. Exactly. You don't even know what it's about, bro. See Jay cooking barbecue and playing chess. <laughs> right. Black culture, man. What? Hey, black culture, a joke, man. For Thanksgiving. What? What? They didn't know they celebrate. Where are the black leaders, so-called black leaders? Scripture said they, they that are leading, of course, lead the era. They're gonna say LeBron James. <laughs> right. LeBron James is our leader. What? <laughs> please. No, please don't say Mr. Sharpton. <laughs> this nigga play basketball, man. They told him shut up and dribble. Right. And he wore a dress. You know, uh, yeah, he did. Right? The, everybody else, everybody else uh, uh, in nations, they got real leaders. They just told Kyrie Irving to shut up and dribble. You know, we don't have real leaders. That money bag, yo. Uh, <laughs> Jay-Z, uh. Pete Diddy. <laughs> Those not real leaders, man. We once had real leaders in the ancient world. Yep. Right? We once had men that stand up for the people. Moses. You know what I'm saying? Samuel. But we don't have, Samuel. we don't. Right? What did what did what did, what did uh, Edgar who the, the nigga from the, well, the the nigga from FBI the head of the FBI yeah, back there? He saying uh, if we bring a Messiah, it's gonna be uh, uh, one, that they create. one that they create. So any nigga that just pop up out of the blue, he he's a plant. He's a plant. Don't 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 listen. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Nigga just sprung up and he, you know, now he he repented and he saw said Daga. And it's been, it's on file that they killed him. And the King family sued the FBI and won in court. You can Google that. All right, that's that's documented. The FBI admitted to doing that. And, and nothing happened. There's no uproar or nothing. You niggas don't. It's a Dr. Martin Luther King in every hood. And wherever that, 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 that neighborhood at, it's crime. Am I lying? No, you're not. Wherever, wherever Dr. Martin Luther King Avenue is, yeah, yeah, yeah. you better stay far away from it because niggas is shooting. <laughs> you got it. You guys up? Yeah, I got some. Uh, this is the book of Joel. That's lucky I said John Master J. That's not the name I meant. Was Grand Master J? No, the, what the guy the other day was leading all these people. He locked up now. Grand Master J. I was uh, the, no, it's all uh, the DJ. DJ guy. Oh, um, he locked up now. Nigga with the glasses, right? That nigga who's trying to lead some uh, this. Man. So it's, a, it's similar. Right, right yeah. so I, but I said grandma. Right? Yeah, it's similar around here. But you know what? Last name was, he has master in his name. Right, grandma. He, he was running for president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He cool. Okay. He down with I Trump. Think his name is Grand something. Grand something. Yeah. Grandmaster but I said Grandmaster J. I didn't mean to say it's, so, it's something around there. It's something around there, man. But he locked up now, I believe. Yeah, he locked okay, up. Him, okay, him. Yeah, certainly not him. He's not going to be able to lead you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the scriptures say the gates, the gates language. Right. So the gates represents, you know, the leaders of our people, which we don't have no true leaders. Nope. Okay. The true leaders. Oh, give me that in um, the, uh, the apocryphal. The true leaders are the. Give, uh, where uh, say I have given you. Uh, he started naming the prophets mm -hmm. of, as the, as our leaders. Isaiah, uh, uh, Micah. He, oh yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. It's in the apocryphal. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where's that slide? Joel yeah. chapter three. And verse 3, it says, They have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine. So the Lord got your sins documented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
This was written before it happened. Yep. Before we was hauled off on the slave ships and all these things happening over here. It was already written about. Mm -hmm. So Esau, your, your ass is grass, man. Go ahead, boy. It says, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them. And, and, and just to clarify this, right? Just because you might say, oh, some of your Israelites sold other Israelites. You devils, y'all still took us. Even if Israelites sold other Israelites on the west coast of Africa. Let's say, okay, fine. These devils, they still took us. Right. I mean, you had sellouts even during the time of the Greeks, yeah. of, the, of the Maccabees. In the Apocrypha, you had, uh, you had our, the majority of our people consenting into his religion. Mm -hmm. So you always had sellouts amongst our people. That don't, that don't mean the so-called white man not going to get punished. Because what did he do after we, we went in his hand? Just coming over here was nasty. And wicked. Nasty, man. Yeah. You know what the scriptures say? If, if it be found in his hand, it's going to be a judgment for that. That's human trafficking. And the punishment for human, human trafficking is death. You can't kidnap nobody. Uh, it says, verse 7, Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will send your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah mm. and they shall sell them to the Sabians for people far off, for the Lord hath spoken it. An eye for an eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. That's an eye for an eye right there. Yep. You got it out. Um, this is Second Ezra chapter one, verse thirty-eight. And now, brother, behold what glory, and see the people that come from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hosea, Amos. Mm -hmm. And Micaiah, Joel, Obadiah, and Jonas, Jonah, Nahum, Habakkuk. These are your leaders. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Sophonius, Agias, Zachary, and Malachi. Yep. Which is called also an angel of the Lord. These are our leaders. Right. Men of the Lord, men of God, prophets. Men of men of Yahweh by Shimei Shai are supposed to be your leaders. Right. In this day and time, we are your leaders. The Lord said he's going to give you pastors according to his heart. You know, that, that's going to give you the true, the true doctrine, man. All right? The scriptures tell you that in their mouth is, fine, is found no guile, man. This is, this is all free. This is of the Lord. This is, this is for free. Yep. Come and get the water. It's all for free, baby. R rappers are not leaders. All right? <laughs> Comedians are not leaders. You got this is Zechariah chapter 1. In verse 15, and it says, And I am very so displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased that they helped forward the affliction. And that's right, man. They going to how, hey, you know, yes, the other Israelites did, did to other Israelites into captivity. But guess what? Esau, Edom, and these other heathens forwarded the affliction, man. You know, y'all did thing, you know, y'all overdid it, so to say. You know, says, putting up our babies as alligator bait, you know, hanging us. You know, butt breaking all these things that you know are spoken about. Not only hang, they made it a public, a public outing. Yeah. They used to let people off work early to go see public hangings. It was it was public. It was like event, like people going to the movies at yeah. be here at, at five sharp. Right. And people would come and take pictures, take pictures with the bodies. Someone would take some souvenirs. They did. They was doing too much. I call it picnic. Picnic. It was entertainment for them. It was in, there. You go. It was entertaining for them. It, 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 so they were. They were. They. They still got the pictures, man. Right. Right. The book. 
there's a book called Without Sanctuary, where there are people taking pictures with Israelite burnt bodies, castrated bodies, and they enjoyed it. Right. I got something real quick. John Stoner was lynched in Doss, Louisiana in 1909 for suing the white man who killed his cow. So they lynched the man. So he can't sue you. You killed his cow. <laughs> so he can't sue you? Why you kill me? That's, a un that's unrighteous. Right. So you can't sue the white man. Boy, <laughs> this is crazy, boy. I got another one. <laughs> Frank Dodd was lynched in DeWitt, Arkansas in 1916 for annoying a white woman? Would you, you know they be lying. Why? Right. Oh, he, he annoyed me. I just don't like the way he looked. Right, right, right. <laughs> I got some. Ernest Green and Charlie Lane, both 14 years old, were lynched in Mississippi in 1942 after a white girl said that they were threatening. Wow. We're going to do that same thing to you in the kingdom. Daddy, he ugly. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. What, they did that to us? Right. He, he, the brother's reading proof right there. I got more. <laughs> Oliver Moore was lynched in Edgecombe County, North Carolina, in 1930 for frightening a white girl. Wow. You could have just turned around the corner. Oh, excuse me. Ah! Yep. And she screamed, oh, you dead. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, man. He, I'm pretty sure Jake said, I'm sorry. And she, nah, uh-uh. Devil man. This, this. Henry Patterson was lynched in La Belle, Florida in 1926 for asking a white woman for a drink of water. He probably was working, man. He was working. He was can, can I please have some water? Thirsty. Gosh, boy, this, this is bro. Bro, <laughs> when we get you devils, boy. Oh my goodness, boy. I got one. I got one more article. Kyle, you, got you know, uh, this is uh, this is George Junior Stein Junior was an African American boy who was at the age of fourteen co convicted and executed in the process later vac vacated as an unfair trial for for the murder of two young white girls in March 1944. Mm. Right, man. So these devils killed a fourteen year old. You know that was wrongfully uh, wrongfully accused, man. Mm. You know, and they later found out that he didn't even do it, but they still killed him, man. Yep, a, a woman, a, a woman, they put, she got the electric chair in 1944 for killing her, her employer, for raping her. A white went, a white man. She put him to death because he raped her. So she's not allowed to defend herself. Right? Oh, Esau, you got a, well, you got a lot to pay for. Yeah. You got a lot to pay for. What was the name of the little young boy? Emmett Till? Emmett Till. Yeah. Yeah. Emmett Till, I, I believe the lady retracted the story yep. years later. And she said she was lying. See? But but what happens to her and her, her, her bloodline? Nothing. See? Nothing? Nothing. Mm. Nothing. These are the children of these people that we just reading about. Yep. Some of these people are walking up and down this, this sidewalk, yep. enjoying the few fruits of their, their, their grandparents, great-grandparents' labor. They get passed down houses, lands, trust funds. Trust funds. And, and what happens? Nothing happens to them. But the Lord, he's going to pay them back, though. Right. You got it, uh, Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Who did that? Right? Right? Even though they, they might say Jake. Right? Let's say Jake did do that. That was wicked. But, but guess what? Go ahead. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Remember, we were the first commodity on Wall Street. Yeah. We're, we're so-called Negroes, man. And, 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 and the so-called white man put insurance on us, right? You had insurance company to insure slave owners. Yeah. And some of these insurance companies around right now insured slaves. And what, they just sent a letter out, oh, I'm so sorry. And that they, they, made, uh, they made Haiti pay France because they, after that, that, that revolting, they, they claim as like, like, they claim them as they're, they're, they're slaves. Like <laughs> they run them off. They say, "Now nah, you got to pay us." Now you got to pay us. Pay us because we run you off. <laughs> you got to pay the white man <laughs> because you made him run off <laughs> from, from enslaving you. From enslaving you. <laughs> but uh, uh, but you'll get a, 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 a Haitian American now. We Haitians are free. What are you paying the white man? Mm -mm. 
Oh, you ain't free. Exodus 21 and 16. He, and he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, shall surely be put to death. Well, we're going to be found in the so-called white race uh, hands and uh, the Japanese man hands and the Arab man's hands. <laughs> Oh, it was just uh, some came out. Two, uh, two white people, so-called white people, went to jail for holding their adopted children as slaves. Oh yeah, I seen. You that. seen that, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. It, and guess who it was? Esau. Yeah. He adopted yeah. so-called black people. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, black people, children, mm -hmm. and held them as slaves for years. And made them do slave labor. Only God knows what else he did yeah. with them. That's why they be going down to Haiti and, to get them. He, over to Africa. I can't explain, boy. I, I, words can't even explain what's about to happen to you devils. I got uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So, hey man, the, the, the saints are patiently waiting mm -hmm. to do those things, okay, which which, which you did unto them, man. Mm -hmm. All right, it tells you that in Isaiah the 14th chapter, man. It's going to be a role reversal. Yep. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Hey, get the Zechariah right for me. Who, who captives hold themselves not guilty? Okay, that's uh, 11 and 5. I got you. Uh, this is Zechariah. I got that first. Yeah. Zechariah chapter... Uh, 11 and verse 5, it says, Whose possessors slay them mm -hmm. and hold themselves not guilty. Right? Right? These, the, the, the names that the brothers just read, right? They was justified in this. Yep. There was no recompense for this. Right? Who possesses slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Right? These people feel like they shouldn't, nothing should happen for what they've done. Right. They feel like, I, we, what, what have we done? They, they, they got that uh that victim mindset. Yeah. What what we have done nothing wrong. They're very good at deflecting. <laughs> what, what, yep. what what do you mean? What are you doing? Yep. They, they, they got that same attribute to this very day. Yep. yep. But they still here. They still here. That's why they call them they call the, the so-called white woman Karen's or Karen's. Right. They're full of deceit. Yeah. You see? Yep. Uh Zachariah eleven and five. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they sell them saved. Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. They, that's how they got rich. Yep. America got rich off of slavery. That's true. <laughs> All right, and, and Jake is still underpaid. And these companies are still getting, getting over on Jake by paying them low wages. Still doing it. Getting you working for pennies while they making, come on, man. They running the muck on us, man. Right. You got out. We got a little bit more. Elizabeth Lawrence was lynched in Birmingham, Alabama in 1933 for reprimanding white children who threw rocks at her. She had children. Oh, he's so innocent. No. Children throwing rocks at a lady, man. So she can't reprimand them. So what she was supposed to do? Just let, let them hit her? You got another one. Jesse Thornton was lynched in Laverne, Alabama in 1940 for addressing a white police officer without the title Mr. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, what Heyman did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there you, you go. You don't want to bow down to me, right? That's a Heyman spirit right there. That's a Heyman spirit. You don't want to bow down to me. All right. <laughs> I'm going to wipe you out in your whole nation. Damn. Damn. I got one more. A black construction worker was lynched at Camp Blanding, Florida, in 1941, for insisting that a white co-worker return his shovel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. He oh took my. my shovel. May I get my shovel back? Lynch him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, why they, that's why they got to get got. The man can't get his shovel back, bro. <laughs> he took my shovel. So whatever a so-called white person did to you back in the days, you had to turn the other cheek. Because right. you could possibly lose your life. You know how much fear, yep. how much cortisol, or how, how much our cortisol levels were spiked back then? 
Don't you look me in the eye, boy. Right. You know, yeah. like we was just living on the edge, yeah. man. But that's and in the curses. Those curses, boy, they, they yeah, hit. Should have no surety of that life. Man, <laughs> boy, that hit hard, boy. Yeah. That's why we can identify the true people of God by go. the curses. That's There's right. too many signs. Matter of fact, let's get that. We can get that. Get that in, in, a, get that in, in, in NLT. No, I'm talking about okay. uh, this. No, is, not in NLT, in your blue letter Bible. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel. So even all what we go through, the Lord is still going to choose us as a people, man. All right? And set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, which are the Israelite foreigners, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So that's coming, man. That's coming. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. It's going to be a great role reversal, man. Okay, what they put us through, they're going to have to pay back for it. It's going to be a recompense, man. You know, the scriptures tell you that uh, 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 the Lord, uh, uh, what's that scripture? Recompense. Uh, Tribulation to them that trouble thee. Right, right. Yeah. First Thessalonians one and six, I think it is. Yeah. Most high is with that man. He's with that. You know, you gonna get it real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First Thessalonians chapter. This is a uh, second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six. Saying it is a righteous thing with the Most High. Right. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yo, it's written, man. It's a righteous thing to get you back. <laughs> the right. Lord said that. He's going to do it. Right. 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 The Lord's going to get you devils back. Boy, I... This is good on you. Watch your back. This is Deuteronomy 26, 28, and verse 46, and it says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thy seed forever. Yep. And this is the NLT. No, no, get it in, get it in uh, look up that word sign, right? Right, because the brother said that the curses are a sign of who the Israelites are. Right, yep. Let's look up the word sign. Sign, and it says, a distinguishing mark, a banner, a remembrance. Mm. A token and sign, proof, proof, Woo! proof. The curses are proof that we are the Israelites. It's proof. There's a mark, proof. How much more plainer than that can you get? So we can read the curses as one of our uh, 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 talking points of who are the Israelites. We can do that. And that's what they don't like because, see, there, the Lord made it clear there. And the curses, you can't refute the curses. There you go. Because anywhere you go in the world, this is happening the to Lord that group of people. <laughs> no, matter where, no matter where you go on the earth, these people are going to be living like the curses say they will be living. Yep. Right. And the book. It's proof. And you devils, y'all hate that. And Vocab Malone hates it too. Yep. You can't use the curse. You can't use that. Yes, we can. There you go. You saw Dick saying, you can't do this. Yeah. You can't. Uh-huh. Oh, you, so you got the authority. What, what we can, no, devil. Shit. Right? The scriptures say we should no more lean upon uh, him that smote us. We don't care what you think anymore, Esau. This is not the 1900s. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and you not understand it. You not exactly like. You ain't like, understand it to tell us. Yeah, like we both, we both look up to the so-called white man now for, for what morality is. Right, right. Hey. We ain't going to your cemetery right. schools, man. Right. And, and see, see, Volcat, he's an eat so he getting the numbers. Oh, approximately oh, two million people are coming to be a hero. When he was down there in France, he said, he said, he said, right. he said oh, they over here in France they now. Over here what, in France. Are, what are we going to do about this? Hey, give me, let's go through <laughs> Ezekiel 37, man. Because you seem to not understand biblical right. prophecy. Right. 
You see so many, oh my God, it, and it's getting on their nerves. Why so many so-called black people waking up? Why did you the Hebrew Israelism? It's good to say that. It's good to say a great fear fell upon them. Hey, get that. Let's go through Ezekiel 37, man. This is uh, Ezekiel 37, the this first is, one. We're, we, were, we were born, right, to fulfill biblical prophecy. This is why we're here. You got it. This is Ezekiel 37, the verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which is full of bones. Mm -hmm. That valley is talking about America. Mm -hmm. Babylon the Great. All right, the bones symbolize that we were in a dead state. Right. Okay, Ezekiel's having a vision. The Lord is giving Ezekiel a vision. You just want to grab a crease up? Yeah, I'm going to grab a this is Psalms 23 and verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, mm -hmm. for thou art with me, mm -hmm. thy rod and thy staff comfort me. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's speaking about America. You're right. That's right. And that's King David prophesying that. Yep. Yes, I'm going to keep going. Go ahead, keep reading. You can read a couple of us. Psalm, verse 2. It caused me to pass them round about, and behold, that, there were, that they were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Yep, he said it was a lot of us, because we are. It's a lot of jakes over here in the, in, in the valley. Right? So he's seen a, lot of, a whole bunch of jakes, a whole bunch of dead bones. I mean, a whole bunch of dry bones. Go ahead. You got another precept? Proverbs 21 verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding right. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right. And that's what happened to us. Yep. Right? We wandered out of the way of understanding. Right? And that's how we ended up in the dead state because what? The Lord, he stripped our heritage from us. Yep. He gave us the white man's religion. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how we slowly became Gentiles. Right. That's right. As, as oh, a beast. Yeah. And that's how, that's how, right? That's how majority of our people became Gentiles. After generations and generations of falling away, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we, damn, shit, we Americans. Not knowing. Right. Hold up, right. man. Right. We ain't no goddamn American. We ain't no African Americans. Two different continents. Oh, man. No. That's what's happening right now. Right. We're waking up to who we, the Lord, we, we shaking the dust off us. Right. We came back to the sanctuary. The dust mean the confusion. That's right, brother. Gentiles in Hebrew is Kawarium, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Kawarium. Kawarium, fuck that. Which means, uh, nations, people. people. Right. Which the word Gentile in the Latin goes What's back up, to the... What's up, man? All right. The word Gentile in the Latin is Gentilis, which means foreigners. Right, foreigners. Our, our people became foreigners to their heritage, man. Mm -hmm. They became yep. strangers to their heritage. That's right. And that happens after generations right. of falling away. Right. Right. Paul was a Roman citizen, but he was an Israelite from That's the right. tribe of Benjamin. That's right. right. We are American citizens, but we're Israelites. That's right. From our respective That's right. tribes. That's right. That's right. So when, when these people got questions, they trying to figure out why is everybody following? Why are so many of these uh, so-called black Native Americans and, and Hispanic men going to, you know, believing it, that they hear Israelites? Because it's time for us to wake up now. Right. It's time. The Lord is, 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 is sanctioning time for his people to wake back up before the return of his son. You got it out. And this is verse, uh, this is Ezekiel 37 and verse 3. And it says, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. I'm like, Lord, why are you asking me? You, you, you the most high. You know. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Oh, you, 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 you got it. I don't know it. You know. <laughs> and, first, and it says, verse 4, and he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say, oh, it's like a prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, all ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Right? Powerful, right? What he just said. He said, prophesy on these bones. Right. 
right? What did the Lord say? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are get that. Right? Because you might not think your words are, are, are you might think, hey, I'm, I'm, no, the Lord did say, you know, he gonna put some magical uh, powers in your hands. No, he want us to preach to our people. That's how we, we, right? We woke up by another man, hearing another man. Right. That's the process of us, of us waking up. That's how the most high ordained. That's right. You got it? Somebody got it? Uh, John 6 or 6 and 6. Okay. You got it? No, all right. Hold up. I hold, I hold a lot of scriptures, that's why I think that. This is, gonna, this is uh, yeah. John, chapter 6, verse uh, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, mm -hmm. the flesh profiteth nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words that, that we're speaking to our people are life. That's what's going to uh, quicken them to make them alive. That's how you, you we're going to wake our people up by preaching, by teaching. This is the way that the Lord wants it to happen. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to walk around just snap fingers and people just going, nah, 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 we got to preach. Right. <laughs> we, we're, we're fishing right now. We're fishing with the elect, but soon the Lord going to turn us to hunters. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, verse 5, and it says, Thus saith to the Lord, Yahweh, unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. That breath is, is what? What is the breath? Right, and hey, hey, that's that truth and that understanding of the scriptures, man. You know? Having that spirit. This, this is gener, this Genesis, Genesis 2 and verse 7 and it says and the Lord you have a form man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and the breath of life and man became a living soul right what makes you a living soul having the wisdom knowledge and understanding yep. right he gave his, his he gave that to Adam that's right okay that's not talking about you know the Lord group Right? No, he gave him the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah. Weird. Weird. <laughs> no, man. He gave him the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding how to rule on earth. The same wisdom that 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 generation upon generation that our forefathers had, and that we're getting back right now. You got some. Yeah, yeah. You this is the uh, this is definition of breath in the uh, in the blue letter. It says wind, breath, mind, spirit. There you go. Of heaven, spirit. So it, spirit. he basically gave him the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> and it says again, spirit as which breath quickly in the end. Or says spirit as that which breathe quickly in the animation or agitation. Was it? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read the definition. It says, spirit of the living, breathing, being in man and animals as a gift preserved by the most high mm -hmm. of God's spirit. There you go. He gave him the Holy Spirit. Right? Yep. And that's what's happening right now. The Lord is waking his people up by giving them the Holy Spirit, by men breathing on them, preaching to them. Men are preaching to them, and the Lord, that's he's right. giving them a download. Mm -hmm. right. You got it out. And it says, verse 6, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up, up a flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. There you go, there you go. Put that breath in us. Make you alive again. And ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So all those bones that Ezekiel saw, we all are standing up now. Yeah. We all getting up. We, we, we going through the process. Right. <laughs> right, 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 Get the right, flesh right, growing right, on right, the right, right. And Esau is looking like, the oh, God is our bad. What the? Esau is literally watching a group of people that he stumped to the ground mm -hmm. and, and put dirt on us. And he's looking at us all come back and he's like, oh my, holy fuck, Bob. We're <laughs> fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> hey, get that in a, 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 a great, great feel fell upon him. <laughs> God, go ahead. <laughs> uh, this is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 11. It says, it says, and after three days and a half, which represent the 350 years, mm -hmm. you know, during that time we was in slavery. Yep. It says, uh, and after three days and a half, 
The spirit. See, you know it's that every, when we read these scriptures, we keep hearing the spirit. Right. There you go. We keep hearing that. The spirit. Right. right? So you don't control the spirit. The Lord got a gift. That's a gift. This is something divine. This is not something you can calculate all oh, three million Israelites. No. You can't put a number on this, man. This is coming from the heavens. You can't buy it. You got it, huh? After three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. A great fear fell upon them which saw them. So if you watch somebody, if you walk past the graveyard and everybody just came up out of the grave, wouldn't you be scared? Yeah, that's scared, boy. That's what's happening. You got to look at it from, from Esau's point of view. His forefathers, at the generation, we, he's seen us, you know, we were slaves and we were down and out, Jim Crow era. Yep. You know, see, be, you know, now we all, every corner he turned his account. Oh, Scott, fuck. Call him, you cursing, you devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so Esau's like, oh, man, what are we going to do about this? <laughs> so trust and believe these devils, they, they have means about this. All right, they have means about this, trying to figure out what they're gonna do. That's why they're coming up with different unrighteous decrees. Right. Yep. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I got one more verse. Verse 12, it says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, meaning here, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So, I don't want to wrap this up with those men, the elect, all right, uh, they're gonna be beamed up, man. Because they were woken up to the spirit of the Lord, to this truth, to this knowledge, all right, and they continue in the faith, you know, they're going to be beamed up. The cloud represents the chariot, right? Yep. Chariots, clouds. I'm not talking about a Nimbus cloud, or, <laughs> you know, a Stratus cloud. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Columbus cloud. So called Christians think that yeah, the Lord is going to come on a, a cloud. No. Wear it all white. Verse 7 of, of Ezekiel 37 and verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and I, and I prophesied there was a noise, behold, a shaking. The bones came together, bone, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and skin covered them, well, skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. What? Verse 9, then he said, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy unto the man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord, come form, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. And they may live. Right? So this is the process of why you see so many so-called black men, Hispanic men, Native American men on the corners, okay, reclaiming their heritage again. Because the Lord ordained it. Right? We didn't, you can't bring yourself into this truth. Nobody knew that, that that if you would have told some brothers this before they came, they would have looked at you like you had five heads. Like, what? Think it out of my face, man. <laughs> I'm going to be a, a DJ. Or I'm going to be a, <laughs> a firefighter. Or yeah, you know, I'm going to be a, a cop. You know, whatever, you know, shape we had they, you know. And then the Lord had other plans for us. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 44. And verse 1 it says, uh, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen, thus said the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshua, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon the like for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water causes. It says, one shall say, I am the Lord's. So when you start to, when the spirit get upon you, you're going to start to reclaim back your heritage, man, to the spirit part of Yahweh Hashem Shai, because he put the spirit on you to do that. Right, you're going to start calling yourself black. You're going to start calling yourself Cuban. Right. Dominican, all these by words, yeah. you're gonna start calling yourself by, by your true nationality. There you go. Judah, Levi, Simeon, 
and the, the Lord called our people Jeshurun, and the Hebrews, y'all sure won. Which means what? Upright. Upright. Okay, when you go into it, yeah, get that, that in, tells um, you that's uh, Israel ideal character. Yeah, up, it's get, to be upright. Uh, get that in, uh, Jacob was a plain man. Right. It's to be upright. Let's look up that word plain. Yep. Uh, it says, verse 5, one shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name right. of Jacob, meaning one of the 12 tribes. Okay? It says, another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Okay? You're going to get one of those Hebrew names, man. Yeah. You're going back yeah. to your heritage. Right. You know? Yeah. That doesn't mean go change your name legally to Ben been Israel. No. <laughs> you know, that's why you are seeing doing you know. Lloyd. You got it out. This is Genesis 25, verse 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter and a man of the field. And Jacob was, was a plain man, well in the tents. The definition of plain. Blue letter. That's why these women got to be in the house. Man. Yep. Yep. And more than likely, she has a husband. Right, she knows. All day. A plane in the blue letter says perfect, complete. Perfect, it's, complete. It says sound, wholesome. Sound, wholesome. An ordinary, quiet sort of person, morally, morally innocent, having integrity. Having integrity, yeah, being, yeah. having morals. Yes, yeah, it's one who's morally and eth right. e ethically pure. Right. Esau don't have, Esau's not ethically pure. No. Esau don't have no morals. Nope. The scripture saying have a cool. His soul is not upright. Yep, yep, but right. the Lord called our people Jeshurun. Yep. And one of the, uh, right, we could say Esau himself, he's not ethically on, he sold his birthright. Yeah, what right, moral right, person right, right, would do that? Right. Would sell, why would you sell your birthright? Right. For some damn fool. The, the, the Apostle Paul called him profane, man. Outside the temple. Right, so backing up what the brother said, all right, what, what's, what's the meaning of, uh, 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 Jeshuan, right? Yasharwan, yeah. meaning upright. Yeah, upright. Upright, right? So we just gave you, backed you up right. with that. Okay? That's uh, why we believe in God. So, that's why we believe in God uh, so much. Even though our people have a zeal, not according to knowledge, but we do acknowledge that there's a higher power. Yes, and, and Esau has scientifically proved that. Some call the God gene, which Esau tried to seek out. Right? Yeah, the God gene. You know, Esau search out everything, trying to figure out why are the Israelites so zealous? Because the Lord put something in us to do to, to seek them. Right. We're not we're they not like us. <laughs> they not like us. You got out. Oh, that was it? Alright. Come. You can uh, hit hit back, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 37 in verse uh, 10. And it says, So I prophesied as, as, as he commanded me, and breath came unto them. And they live, and he stood upon their feet, exceeding great army. And that's what you see, right? Brothers are waking up, pop, popping up, pop, pop, pop. Oh, shit. Brother over there in Nigeria. Brother over there in Alaska, Hawaii. London. London, France. Yeah, brothers is everywhere, man. You know, even, even, and in, in, in not even only GMS, you got other Israelite camps everywhere else, too. Yeah. You, you know, IUIC Japan over there, you know, not saying that they teach the correct doctrine but they got the, they, they out there with the sign letting the people know who they are right. mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and, 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 and what tribe they from you know so we do give other camps credit for that you know what i'm saying but when it comes to the co correct correct doctrine you know 100 percent doctrine you, you're gonna you're gonna find that at gms <laughs> start with the apostles start with the apostles elders on down that's right yep you know you got out and it says verse 11, uh, this is Ezekiel 37 and 11, then he said unto me, son of man, then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, behold, O my people. Let's, let's get uh, something to the back of these. Let's begin now. Yeah, you can read that. Yeah, get that. We can, we can, you know, how people was telling out. We can touch a little bit on that. How people made covenants with the heathen. So, you know, upon generations after generations, how we started to fall away. You got it, huh? No, no, he, 
That was it? Five little more. Five. So therefore, prophesying said to them, Thus said the Lord power behold, or my people, I will open your grave because you know, so I can open your graves and cause you to come up out of your grave and bring you into the land of Israel. That's right. So that's the after we wake up, the Lord is going to bring us back in our land. Okay, but we're going to get a little bit how we were in the Greek captivity, all right, under the Grecians, and how some of our people sold out. Okay, and how some of our people, I mean, how we, how we were Hellenized. Okay, we were Hellenized. All right, we... we Yeah. Uh, let, me get that, let me get this real quick to set the tone for that. This is Galatians 3, verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Mashiach Yahushai. Okay, so there is neither Jew nor Greek. Now when you go into that word Greek, it's Helen. Okay. And let's look up the word Helen. It says, it says, a Greek either by nationality, whether a native of the mainland or of the Greek islands or colonies, it says in a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own the primary references, reference is to a difference of religion and worship, a Greek-speaking Jew. So pretty much those that was uh, Hellenized, which we're going to get into it, are the Israelites. That's why I said there's neither Jew nor Greek. So mm -hmm. what? What about the rest of the people? Right, exactly. What about the rest? Exactly. <laughs> so Jew nor Greek. But what about the rest of the people? Well, who are the Jews? Those are the circumcision. Who are the, 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 the Greeks, those who was Hellenized, the Israelite foreigners, the Gentiles? Right. You got it. This is uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1. I'll start at verse 10. It says, And there came out from them, and there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the 130th and 70th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. It says, verse 11, In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around, that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. That's the beginning. That's the beginning of being Hellenized. And generations after generations after generations, you got Paul right into the Galatians. Okay, then you got the apostles on the scene. Then you got the disciples on the scene, right? Teaching Gentiles, right? That's the whole controversy about the word Gentile, right? Gentiles, the Gentiles, the Gentiles gonna be saying, "Well, who are these Gentiles? Right. Who are these Gentiles that that that, that we're speaking to?" Yep. Right, because the word Gentile. Let's get. Let's look up the word Gentile on um, BLB. Let me get it. Right, let, let's slide it. This is um. One second. So this is Genesis ten, right? Verse uh five. By these were the isles of the Gentiles. Dividing in their lands, everyone after his tongue, and their families, in their nations. Mm -hmm. The word Gentile in the Hebrew, Gentiles is Gawarium. Mm -hmm. The the people, the 1948ers say uh, Goyim. Mm -hmm. 
but it's really go warrior. So these Nazi four they just look at us like going. Yep. Why yeah. we can't look at them like going? You see? Mm -hmm. But let's keep on reading. It says nation, people. Right. That's what Gentile really means. It's, it just means nations or people. Exactly. But what nation? You have you have <laughs> the actual heathens yep. being the uh Gentiles. Uh -huh. And you have Israelite foreigners who made themselves Gentiles. But exactly. they're really Israelites. Exactly. So Paul was a preacher to the Gentiles, yeah. To the Israelite oh, foreigners. They should go. The word Gentile in the, in the, in the uh, Latin is Gentilis, which means foreigner. So Paul was an apostle to the Israelite foreigners. Well, because they fell away from the heritage. And some of their forefathers, what we're reading about in 1 Maccabees, these were some of their forefathers. Right? They fell away. They started following after the customs of the heathen. That's right. Making themselves on certain side, not doing what the, uh, 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 our forefathers, right, Moses, and he passed gen down generation after generation. We stopped following that. Right. That those customs. Yep. Go ahead, you got out. Uh, First Maccabees chapter one and verse forty-one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Like what they're trying to do now, and yep. what, what, what uh, 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 Nimrod did in the time of the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, it says, which, well, which Nimrod means rebellion. rebellion yep. see? Well, who's ruling today? <laughs> he saw Edom, right. the uh, yeah, they're rebellion. right? He's the modern day Pharaoh, yeah. which Pharaoh was considered a god in the earth. Yep, he, they, they look at Esau as a god. Yep, yep, because what look at, look at the image of Jesus Christ. Yep. It says, uh, more, uh, verse 41, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 41, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, and everyone should leave his laws to all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. Many also of the Israelites. Go ahead and sacrificed unto idols, and profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, that they should follow the strange laws of the land, and forbid burnt offering and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbath and festival days, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts that they should also leave their children uncircumcised mm -hmm. and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness right. and, profit and uh, profanation right. to the end they might forget the law that they might forget so generation after generation after generation and you got Gentiles. Right. That's, there you go. You got Hellenists. Right, okay. You got Greek-speaking Jews. And if you if you miss this if you miss this part of the movie, all right, this part of the book. I'm just saying, if you miss this part of the movie, so to speak, you ain't gonna. That's why you have trouble understanding the Gentiles in the New Testament because you skip because you skip the apocryphal. Skip the bar. Yep. <laughs> you read a book and then you skip the big chunk and then you start right. reading the end. You like, hold up, you man. can't get the understanding like that. Like, damn. <laughs> but they're not even going into the word Gentile and seeing what it means. Exactly. They're not even going to the words. <laughs> so, I mean, you, so brothers, you shouldn't be arguing with Christians are on a very low level. They're not, they're not learned to study. So what are we arguing about? Right. You ask a Christian, what does the word Gentile mean? You, you don't know. <laughs> oh, Gentiles just talking, man. Right. But, but yet they're trying to save the Gentiles. Yeah. Right. You don't even know the history behind it. You don't know Nothing. anything. You so earn not knowing the scripture. So what do we what do we begin to even have a, 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 a talking point? What do we begin? Talk not with a fool. You know what I'm saying? That's what the scriptures say. Talk not yeah. with a fool. We, what are we talking to you about, man? If somebody come up here, if they up here to be taught. That's right. You got something out? Yeah. I got this, some more. This is uh Romans 1, verse 7, and it says to to all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, called to be saints. Called to be saints. Who's that? Can Esau be a saint? No. 
He showed up his word and statue unto Israel. He has not done so with any other nation. Right. That's right. Right? right. So what are we talking about here? Amos 3 and 3. <laughs> you are the only, the only family of all the families of the earth that I have known. Mm -hmm. Okay, therefore I will punish you. You know, that, that's the Lord dealing with his people. Now deal with the rest of the, 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 the nation. And I had a precept, you know, to back up to see, to, 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 because, you know, the scriptures tell us who the saints are. This is Psalm 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with, with me by sacrifice. Right? And what nation of people have done that? You know, they're, they're, they're the children of Israel, man. You know, we have made a, co a covenant sacrificed by blood. You know, and, and it speaks about that in Exodus, man. Get it. You know? You know where it's at? Yeah, Exodus 24. Oh. This is Exodus 24. In verse 5, and it says, And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace and offerings of oxen unto the yep. Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's right, man. Hey, hey, we the children of Israel, the one that gives sacrifices unto the Lord, man. You know, and, 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 and we are the saints. The Good saints morning. are the Israelites. Good morning. Verse 6, and Moses took half of the blood and put it in the basin, and, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And took the book of, of the covenant and read in the audience of the Lord. And they said, All that the Lord has said we will do. Or so I said, All that the Lord has said we will do and be obedient. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we, 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 we wasn't being obedient. Nah. Bro. We broke the contract. Right. So the Lord, because we broke the contract, the Lord punished us. Right. And he said, the, the part of the contract was in Deuteronomy 28. Yep. If you do this, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> but if you do this, I'm gonna do this. Right. <laughs> yeah, Paul right into the saints in Rome. Right. The Israelite right. foreigners in, in Rome. Rome. In Rome, Romans nine. I get that. Romans nine and one. Go ahead, I'm on. Uh, verse uh, 49. It says, "To the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances, and whosoever would not." do according to the commandment of the king he said he should die hmm. and so the they, was, they, they was talking about killing they were serious they was about to you know kill you if you if you didn't you know yeah. like in the time of Daniel in the, in the time of slavery ain't nothing new they it, didn't want us to read the bible even in the time of slavery ain't nothing new and it's gonna happen it's gonna happen in these times right yeah. it's gonna happen in these times you can't you don't tell us we can't be out here preaching it's gonna happen one day yep you know how you put the Hebrew Israelite thing you going to jail. <laughs> it's coming. Laws on the book. It's man. coming. Persecution. So, yep. yep. Persecution is coming. Saying, oh, ain't nothing new. Our forefathers was getting persecuted. Yep. yep. Right. We reading about it. That's right, brother. This ain't made up. We preparing our minds, That's man. Right. That's why we reading the scriptures. We meditate on the scriptures. Right. Counting the costs. Because persecution is about to pop off, man. Right. You got it, brother. Uh, verse 51, it says, in the self same manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointing overseers over all the people, commanding the cities of Judah to, to, to sacrifice city by city. Then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law, and so they committed evils in the land and drove the Israelites into secret places, yeah. even wheresoever they could flee for succor. Hey, hey, need real, help. Right, real quick. Hey. His eyes set privily upon the poor. Yep. Even during these days. Mm -hmm. It's in Esau's nature to constantly see what Jake doing. They're infatuated with us. They yep. are. His eyes set privily upon the poor. How can we oppress this nation more and more and more? Oh, that was going on during the time of the, uh, the, the Hellenization. Right. During the time of the Greeks. Our people have been Hellenized. They're running us into caves to worship the Lord. Right. We are to run. It ain't gonna be nothing new. We gonna have to run the, in these modern times too. Some of the some brothers gonna have to, you know, get up out of dodge. <laughs> right. It said verse fifty three and drove the Israelites into secret places, even wheresoever they could flee for succor. Now the fifth, now the fifteenth day of the month, Casalu, in the hundred forty and fiftieth year, upon it says they said up the abomination of desolation upon the altar and building idol altars throughout the cities of Judah on every side. So you right now, I, uh, people, 
years and years of being idolaters, mm -hmm. all right, they having children and they, they children having children and children, you forget. You don't even know anymore. And that's why you got uh, right here, right now, right? Yeah. We've woken up to who we are, but you still got our people, they, they're, they're Gentiles. That's right. They don't know. They don't know the God Yahweh. They don't know Yahweh Shai. We have to reintroduce them to their gods. We have to reintroduce them to, to, the, to our ways through preaching. And we're doing right now what the uh what Paul did. We're doing it right now. Preaching. But we're preaching to the whole world on the internet. It says, you finish. It says, verse 55, and burnt incense at the doors of their houses. And in the streets, and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, which they found, see, it was always a problem with the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they always make a problem with the book. Like in, uh, rent, rent means to tear in pieces, man. Yeah, like, uh, uh, what's the movie with Denzel? Um, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, the book of Eli. Book of Eli. Book of Eli. Eli. Right. It was always, he was, the book, the right. book, I need the book. The Bible. Yep, that was the Bible. That's the little book. That's, That's the, the book. Talk yep, about yep, Revelation. Yep. He knew if he if he got that book, he could control people. So he was so adamant on getting the book. It's all about the Bible. It's all about That's right. the book. That's right. <laughs> and Esau knows that. It says, uh, and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, <laughs> which they found, they burnt them with fire. See? See? You wanted Jake to get away from that. Hey, that and that just happened the other day when when when, when Putin uh, brought out those images. Yeah. Right. So they said they like they had like two hundred and something bu books burnt. Why y'all burning the books? Mm. Yeah. Why y'all burning the books, man? <laughs> <laughs> right. It says, uh, it says, and wheresoever, Salakia, like and wheresoever was found with any the book of the testament, or if any consented to the law. The king commandment was that they should put him to death. See, man, his blood is on Esau. Esau's mind, bro. That's all he do is is what? Kill people. Right. <laughs> death, 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 death. Yeah, death. Boy. God, God, boy. How he got America? Kill Bloodshed, kill. death. So this man got a pan blood, bro. Hey, hey, uh, put around to me. Right. Numbers. 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 Number 33, right, 35. 35 and 33. Come on. Uh, what is it again? Numbers 35 and 33. Uh, verse 58, it says, Thus did they by their authority unto the Israelites every month. Every month. Damn. Wow. To as many as were found in the cities. So we had to run. We had to hide. Right. You know, and, and, and serve the Most High. It says, Now the five and twentieth day of the month they did sacrifice upon the, uh, the idol altar, which was upon the altar of God, at which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women. Hey, hey, hey. Put, they, <laughs> they put women to death too. Mm -hmm. A lot of women gonna get persecuted too. That's right. You got it, bro. So at which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised. And they hang the infants about their necks and rifle their houses. Esau did that. I, we, I just brought out not too long ago the lynchings that Esau did to our people. Right. Yep. Nothing new under the sun, bro. Yeah. And you know you had sellouts too. Yeah, they them over there. They, yep. That's where they at. Selling us out. Hey, Master, you know you know she struggled saw her son, Master. <laughs> Who that there on that bag? <laughs> Master, she got hair wrap on Master. <laughs> <laughs> Master, she got hair wrap. Master, you got dress on. Yeah. <laughs> Who that there on that neck? <laughs> good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> it's always gonna be sellouts. Right. <laughs> he says, got and slew them that circumcised them. Verse 62. Howbeit many in Israel were fully resolved and conform and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. Right. It's in, it's in our law to what? To stay away from unclean animals and birds. We have a dietary law. Right. And Esau know we have laws and commandments, man. Right. 
So when we try to keep the laws and commandments, guess what? He persecutes us for he that. He persecutes, yep. Our own people. Uh -huh. What you mean you ain't no pork? Boy, you crazy. Mm -hmm. You ain't no shrimp. Man, this nigga tripping, y'all. It says, verse 63, Wherefore they chose rather to die, that, that they, it's like a rat. Wherefore they chose rather to die, yes. that they might not be defiled with meats, and, they, and that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died. Right. And there was very great wrath upon Israel. You know, like, like the example of Eleazar. You know, he chose death, man. Yeah. Rather than to file the file, to file himself with, 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 with swine's flesh, man. Well, they, they even offer Eliezer out just, just to pretend yeah. like you was gonna eat it. He, they say you ain't even gotta eat it. Just pretend like you eating it, mm -hmm. so the other people can say you ate it. And he said no. Right. He said I ain't even pretending to eat this. Cause he know through the spirit that was gonna be cause the others to fall. That's right. And he had a reason behind it because he said, the "Fuck, I'm already old. I'm gonna put a stain on my reputation for me. Mm -hmm. right. Ain't doing that." Cause you got a reputation in, in on earth and in heaven. Right. right. So, what 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 those women were showing? What was Eliezer showing? Integrity. Integrity. There you go. See, being morally upright. That's right. Y'all sure won. <laughs> Y'all sure won. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's in our character to be. Now we we gonna we gonna we rather die for the truth mm -hmm. than than to defile ourselves with abomination. You see, it's in our nature to okay. Let's stand up for righteousness. That's right. That's right. That's right. And some of uh, us did that. Yeah, some of uh, Oh, that was it? You, you was holding the priest up for the longest time. Right. So yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they're Romans. Romans. Yeah, Romans 9. Yeah. Ooh, you're in the first yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. For the... You start at 1. This is Romans 9 and verse 1. This is a Paul, a letter written from Paul to the uh, Israelites in Rome. That's right. This is Romans 9 and verse 1. I say truth in the Mashiach. I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Rahakadash that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish myself were a curse from a Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption mm -hmm. and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. Now, Paul. Right, contradict himself. Why is he saying that these people pertain to these things? Why didn't he include everybody? Mm -hmm. right. Why didn't he say to Moab, Ishmael? Why didn't he include these people? And the Christians, they love Paul. But Paul didn't back y'all up right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, they love them for Paul. Yeah, they love Paul. Right. But Paul saying, oh, the gospel is to the Gentiles. And, you know, our people are weird, man. <laughs> they, they, they said, it sounds like what Paul is saying is pertaining to them. In their mind, that's right. what they're saying. In their mind. <laughs> right. But from the jump, the book was never written for you. First and foremost, you're picking up and reading a book that is not intended for you. There you go. You're reading our, our letter. It says to Israelites, this is for us. Right. The Lord said, what is thou to do, do with my statutes? What, what are a heathen picking up a Bible for? First and foremost, that's not, that's not even for you. You hate instruction. Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. Hey, that please. thou hatest yeah. instruction. Everybody done picked up the Bible. Oh, it's talking about us. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Right. It says, Romans 9 verse 4, who are the Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Right, then back, 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 brought to the Father. Yeah. Who? Our mediator, Yahweh. Right. So who was brought back to, to the Heavenly Father? Why didn't Moab was never even uh, 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 joined unto the Heavenly Father? Esau was never joined unto the Heavenly Father. How can you be brought back to something you was never a part of? There you go. Mm -hmm. Duh. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, y'all. It says, it makes sense. Who, are the, who are the Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption and the glory, glory. and the covenant? The glory. Yeah, and you, you, you will never be part of this glory that, that's going to come when Yahweh shall come back. Right. That's only intended for the Israelites. Right. That's what the second covenant is for, for the Israelites. Get the second covenant. Go ahead, y'all. And it says, and the covenants, the giving of the law. The giving of the law. <laughs> and, the, and the service of the Most High. Who, wait, you read in Exodus 24, right? Who did Moses sprinkle the blood on? Esau wasn't there. Nope. Esau was trying to hinder us 
from getting to the promised land. So if we can go take it all the way back when the sprinkling of the blood was. You wasn't there. Your forefathers was not there. Sorry. The service of the Most High. The service. Who, 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 was, the, who was committing the service of the law? The, the Levites, mm -hmm. right? The, 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 when you had the, 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 the sacrifice, and it was only Israelites that was sacrificing. Right. Who, who, who's, who's the prophets of the Lord? Israelites. That's right. <laughs> there are no heathen uh, prophets. That's right. <laughs> nope. What the hell? When you read about the prophets there, they say, oh, I'm such and such from this tribe. Or such and such, uh, you know, you say Elijah the, Elijah the Tishbite. When you look up the Tishbite, who in the, in the land of the Tishbites, you can look it up. Wasn't no damn Edomites. Okay? Elijah was a Benjamite. All from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay? It was no... Come on, man. Go ahead. And it says, and the promises. And the promises. We're going to read some of the promises, right? The promises were... Uh, the, that, some of the promises that the Lord made to Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. that, that was never promised to... Come mm -hmm. on, man. He made his promise to his seed. His seed, right? And, 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 and Isaac, mm -hmm. okay? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And right. from Jacob, okay... Okay, his, his descendants. Okay, that's what that promise is for. Go ahead. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 31. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant yeah. with the house of Israel hmm. and yeah. with the house of Judah. Wait, Esau, yeah. mm -hmm. the Gentiles, the other people. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <my>. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's not for you. Right. Right? It's not for you, man. So when, when Christians want to come up, just go to the second covenant, man. Right. It ain't for y'all. Oh. Uh, verse 32, not according to the covenant. Oh, they say anybody can be Israel. What? Wait, hold on. That makes sense. Hold wait, wait, hold on. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Hmm. So everybody can be an Israelite? But we claiming to be Israelites, but they saying we're not the people. So right. which one is Wait, y'all say anybody can be Israelite, but we saying we're Israelite. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Well, we can't, we can't wait to one of you. We're going we gonna to shoot. Hypocrisy, <laughs> man. A nice boy. Bunch of hypocrites, huh? Yeah. Hypocrites, huh? Hey, they'll throw up everything. Just try. Oh, we're the, the, the wild olive French crap. Mm. No, 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 no. Try to sound like they know something. <laughs> right. Yeah, you got to ask. This is not a card. That's what I'm saying. If you get confounded by a Christian, you on a low level, man. Right. A Christian? Like, not even a scholar, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, a, just a, you know, oh, a nigga named Joe. Right. <laughs> Jeremiah 31 and 32. <laughs> not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day. With who? With their fathers? Right. Where? <laughs> that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, yeah. Yeah. which my covenant they break. Right. Esau was not with right. these people being delivered. Okay, and, no, and, the, and the heathens that were with them, they were not a part of the covenant. They were there to be slaves. They were there just to help. Some of the some of the heathens did leave Egypt with them, but they were they were not. Blood wasn't sprinkled on them. Right. It wasn't for them. It says, "Although I was a husband unto them," said the Lord, "but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel mm -hmm. after those days," said the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts mm. right. and write it in their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. That's right. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor That's right. and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord, for I will forgive the iniquity and I will remember their sins no more. That's right. Right. And that's that's speaking to these people on this side. Okay. And and and, and why we brung all this is up, all this up, right? Because the preaching of the word, preaching the breath on our people, waking them up to who they truly are. Okay. Because our people right now are in the Gentile state of mind. Okay. But the Lord said, preach unto them, breathe unto them, and wake them up. Because generation after generation, they lost who they were. Yep. 
Yes, yeah, so my... yeah, sir. I got Romans 10, verse 12. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Once again, we already broke it down, but the Jews and the Greek are the Israelites. Okay? So called Christians see that word, oh, all that call upon him and think the whole world, all these nations can call upon you. How about Shemar No. Nope. The scriptures say his name is dreadful among the heathen. Right. That's right. Keep on reading. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. That's right. That's right, man. Okay, and that's what we're doing. We're preaching unto our people. But they have not all believed the gospel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how can they hear? How can they believe without a preacher? That's what we're doing. We're preaching it to our people. All right now, we're gonna, you know, the, the naysayers, the doubters, they're all a part of the story. Right? They don't have to believe that Yahweh Shah is coming back for only his people. They don't have to believe it. But they're gonna they're gonna experience it, they're gonna live it. Okay? This all explains, you know, we you <laughs> kind of that's a really like a 10-hour lesson. You know, where we gotta try and sum all these things up within right. a certain amount of time. Okay, we bring that out because this, the Gentiles and, 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 and us waking up, it's all, it's together, it's all together, man. You got something out? You got something? Okay. Nah, you go ahead. Okay, uh, Jeremiah chapter three, I'm gonna start at verse 11, it says, and the Lord said unto me, the backsliding Israel hath justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words to, to the north and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord. So this is the message for you to repent. Okay? The Lord is saying to return unto him. It says, uh, It says, Return thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you. And I will take one of a city and two of a family and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So at the end of the day, we out here to preach the word to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're telling you to repent, man. That's the, that's the, that's the whole message why we out here, to, 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 to get you to turn back to this word. It's, it's ultimately of the law. We just preaching the word, you know, but the message is to repent, man, you got it. Oh, this is Psalms 106. I'm finna go into how our people was, uh, they fell off. They, they, they was worshiping, you know, other uh, gods and being wicked. All right, this is Psalms 106, verse uh, 12. Then believed they his words, they sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their requests, but sent leanness unto their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of the Lord, Yahweh. The earth opened up, the earth opened and swallowed up Dothan and covered the company of Abiram. And the fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb. 
and worship the molten image. Who? The Israelites. It was worshiping the golden calf. That account is found in Exodus. Keep reading. It says, Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. You see? They forgot God, their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Okay, they forgot the works of you. They forgot what the Lord did for them. The Lord delivered our people from the hand of Pharaoh, and our people forgot about that. Yep. And made themselves a golden calf. Okay. They wanted to live like the, the, the heathen, man. Let's keep reading. Verse 23. Therefore he said that he would destroy them had not Moses' his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath that he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land. They believed not his words. But murmur in their tents and hearken not unto the voice of Yahweh. They, therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in their lands, in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal Peor and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions. And the plague break in upon them. Okay, which you can find these different events happening in the Torah. Okay, when you read the uh, first five books of the Bible, you can find these different accounts on how on how our people was worshiping and murmuring, worshiping uh, false idols, murmuring against the Lord, murmuring against Moses, whom the Lord set up for a leader. The Lord set up Aaron. Okay. For a priest, high priest. But guess what? Our people murmured, man. They went off. Okay? Therefore, what? The, the curses are cleaving until to this very day. Yep. We're going to close the precepts. Right. Uh, this is our Baruch. I do mention uh, to this very day. Uh, it's the book of Baruch, chapter 3. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, uh, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, when thou hast scattered us for a reproach and curse to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. So, like the brother was just saying, yet this very day, we, we live under these curses. We we're in the hand of our enemies. We, we're, we're literally still in captivity, man, by contractual bonds, all right? So this is why we turn in, turn in our whole hearts to the Lord. We want to be saved. We want to be delivered. And that's why we're praying for a few days, as the scriptures say, you know? This is uh, Romans 13, verse 11. This is uh, Romans 13, 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now is a high time to wake out of, out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right, man? And seeing what's going on on the planet of Earth, man, now is a high time to wake out of our slumber. You know, turning back to you, about you on shy, man. All these, all these events taking off, taking place, we're all the, the heat, you know, earth, uh, earthquakes, pestilence, famine. You know, these are signs that signs that signs that the Lord is coming. You know, so we should turn back to you, about you on shy, man. You know. And this truth is only for the Israelites, man. The Gentiles that can be saved are the Israelite foreigners. We're not talking about the, the actual heathen, Moab and the so-called white man, no. So-called Chinese man, no. This truth is only for Jacob, Israel. Second uh, Andrew chapter two, and verse 13, it says, go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The Look. kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. That's why we're hastening the day of our Lord, Yahweh, to return. Whom you people ignorantly say Jesus Christ. And that's not his name. Jesus Christ is not his name. He had a Hebrew name. It's not Jesus. 
All right? We're hastening the day of his return. The scriptures say, Behold, I come quickly. Who? Yahweh Shot. That's who's coming back. Who is he? Yahweh Shot. Well, just that? Well, he was my chest today. He is. He is. Yahweh, he is. Yahweh, he is. That's right. Yeah, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means he is. He's an Israelite. He got to repent, too. <laughs> you got more, brother? Right, I'm going to read it again. Uh, second Ezra chapter 2, verse 13. Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for few days yeah. unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom yeah. is already prepared for you. Watch. We, we pray that Yahweh, we pray that Yahweh, see Yahweh shall to come back right. soon. Yeah. Like, right. very, very soon, because right. why? Look at the wickedness. Right. Okay? God's, God's wicked. Say it again. God's wicked. Well, the so-called white man is wicked because he 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 he, he well, thinks. I'm Puerto Rican, Jamaican. No, no, not you. I'm Jamaican myself. We're we talking about the Edomite. We know you're an Israelite. Yeah, you're an Israelite. We're talking about the so-called white men, the Edomites. They're they're the wicked. Right. You see, God. You speak about that earlier. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit because he he owns. So Jake, scoff God. Yeah. God, God, why God do me like that? Right. Because you wicked, man. Yeah. Right. That's why. You never look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Right. Take the blame from that. Right. It says prepare. Watch. The kingdom is prepared, man. The, the kingdom is already prepared, and we're watching. Okay. We're being. We're being. The prophets are the watchmen. Obviously, you people are not watching. That's our job. So we're going to watch through the spirit of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's it? Yeah. So with that, all praise is glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Double honors to the apostles that rule well at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutation to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.